Hello again. In this session we'll be looking at the first type of continuation pattern, the triangle. However, there are actually three different types of triangle patterns including the symmetrical, ascending, and descending triangles. Let's take a closer look. Each triangle consists of a base, which is the widest part of the triangle, and two converging lines that meet at the apex. So, in the symmetrical triangle, the upper line is descending while the lower line is ascending, and they converge at the apex. Now that you have an idea of what the symmetrical triangle looks like, let's talk about the different points that are needed in order to draw the lines. Think about it like this, to draw a straight line a minimum of two points are needed, right? Well, the same applies to each of the converging lines in a triangle. However, while two points is the minimum, it's not uncommon that converging lines consist of more points such as four or even six. In this symmetrical triangle, points one and three are needed to draw the descending upper line and points two and four are needed to draw the ascending lower line. In other words, the pattern consists of at least two lower highs and two higher lows. Notice how point three, is lower than point 1 in the descending line, and point 4, is higher than point 2 in an ascending line. These points determine what kind of triangle the formation is. For example, if point 3 was on the same level as point 1, a horizontal upper line would be drawn, rather than a descending one. This would change the type of triangle that this is. But one thing is always guaranteed, eventually the prices breaks out of the triangle and in most cases, the prior trend resumes. In our next video, we'll be taking a look at the other two triangle patterns. Want to be the first to know about new videos? Hit the subscribe button now!